Hey guys, it's Coda, and today we're going to be making a tunnel hammock for your rat, chinchilla, ferret, and you could even up the size if you wanted to and make it for a cat. So let's get started. Okay guys, so we're going to start with a piece of fleece and a piece of cotton, like always, for your outside, whatever you want that to be. And then the inside, I use fleece just because it's really comfortable and warm and it'll keep your rats nice and uh, cozy during the winter, which it is. So you're going to do a piece that is 16 by 18. And then you are going to take whatever you want for the opening and you're going to trace around it. And then you're just going to sew around it, cut a slice or use your rotary knife and remove the circle and then turn it inside out. Okay, so I went ahead and sewed, cut it out, and flipped it inside out. Here's my piece that I cut out, and I actually switched. I didn't feel like this cup was going to be a big enough opening, so I went with this uh, jar that we have. So now I'm going to go ahead and iron the circle flat so that it stays nice and tight while I'm sewing, and I'm going to go ahead and pin it. Okay, so I went ahead and ironed and sewed right here. And now we are going to work on the ends of the, the tunnel so that they're tucked in nice and neat and you don't see the fabric where we sewed. So now I'm going to fold that up. I'm going to put this over under. So I don't know if that was too fast for you guys. I'll do it again. So I'm basically just taking these two and putting them together on the other side. So I'm going like this just because I don't want it bunched up in, in my way. So I'm taking this, and then I'm taking the one that was underneath that and swinging it out. So now you should have your good side against your good side. And now I'm going to pin, pin this and sew it. Okay, so I went ahead and sewed along there. Oops, forgot to pull out that needle. I went ahead and sewed along there, and now we're going to open it. And we're going to grab those two pieces that we sewed and we're just going to turn it inside out from there. So now that should be inside the liner where they won't be able to see it or get to it. And now if you want, you can iron this and then sew evenly along there just to make the ends look a lot nicer. Because when we're done, it's going to be like that. So if you just want that to look nicer, then you can go ahead and sew along there. And then you're going to do exactly what we just did on this side to this side. You're going to fold them and then sew that together. Okay, so now I sewed both sides and I put my line along there. I don't know if that'll focus, but you can see. And I did that on this side too. And now we're going to take it like this and put our good sides together. Now these are the sides that we didn't sew. These are the open, open sides. And now you're going to pin those together and sew those. All right, so I sewed along there and now it should be all sealed up. And now we're just going to flip it inside out. And there you go. There's your tunnel hammock. The way I hang mine up is I put my eyelets in them, like always. So I'm just, I fold mine in half like that so that this is the top. And I put eyelet through this layer, not all the way through. And then one here. So I have two on the top of, eat, of, uh, of the hammock and that holds it open for me. And there it is. Hope that was easy to follow. I hope it was understandable. If not, I will just try again and I can remake this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time with another video. Hey you, there. Make a hammock. <laughs> the fuck?